Okay, to plus a, place a separator between the teeth, the reason you would want to place a separator is to open up a little bit of space in order to place a band at the next appointment. A band fits all the way around the tooth, so you need to make a little room here. So what you do is you get your separators, they come in a little thing like this. There's two ways of putting them in. This is the floss way. This is the way I personally prefer. So you fit your floss through there, get it about halfway through. You need two pieces of floss about I don't know, 10 inches long-ish. So you get it through there and then you just pull it off and then you hold it like this. And so then you can thread your other piece of floss through there. Nice and neat, just like that. And then you grab both halves of that. So you've got it suspended between two pieces of floss like this. So then you go inside the patient's mouth and let's say we're going to put one right here and we're going to fit a band on this six. We already have one between the six and the seven. We're going to put one between the five and the six. So what you do is I personally like to wind it around the middle finger on one. That way I can get a good pull, like to pull it between. Because what you're going to do is put this floss, see if I can prop this up here so you can see a little easier. So what you'll do is I'll wrap it around my middle finger and then I get in here like this with my uh, with my index fingers and then I put the floss between the teeth like this and then I get my thumb up here and then I'm pulling back on this side to get it to pull. You want it to go under the contact where the two teeth touch down by the gums and you slide it down under there like this until you can see it on each side and then you gently kind of wiggle it back and forth and raise it up, see it both both halves came out. So I gotta seat the floss back in there, pull it down halfway through, and then kind of gently raise it up until just one of those halves comes up above the contact and the other half stays down below. This is super loose right here, um, but in the patient's mouth it won't be nearly so loose. So once you get it to where half the it's one part of the loop is above the contact and the rest is down below, so it basically surrounds the part that where the two teeth are touching. Then you take your floss, you separate the two halves, and usually they're kind of wound up, so then you'll unwind them like this. And then once they're nice and unwound, then you just pull it straight out of the patient's mouth. And you do that with both pieces of floss. And don't pull up or down or you can dislodge the separator. You just pull straight forward. So you'll just pull straight forward and it'll slide right out of there like that. And then you wanna make sure that part of it is up above the contact and part of it's down below the contact. And that's how you place it with floss. When you slide, I always warn the patient because when you slide it down below the gums, they'll feel pressure. So I'll usually say, you'll feel this going in, you'll feel some pressure, it'll be a little uncomfortable, just hang in there and it'll only last a second, okay? Because it's a little, it hurts a little bit for some people. So that's how you place it with the floss. Okay, the second way to place a separator is with separator pliers, which look like this. They look like that. So what you do is you get your separator, you put it on here, and then as you gently squeeze, it opens it up a little bit. So what the idea is, you get it in here, you open this up, and then you push down so that just half of the separator goes below the contact. And then you let go and make sure that it stays in there. So the, again, the idea is that half of it's below the contact and half of it is above the contact. If you use these, or the floss, either one, just be careful that you don't overstretch the separator. If when you're done, the separator looks super loosey-goosey and floppy, it's not going to open up that space and you're just wasting the patient's time. So if you overstretch it, pull that one out and put a new one in, you want it to be nice and snug around there, okay? So that's how you use uh, the separator pliers. And then warn the patient that the teeth are gonna be a little bit tender, that's normal. Uh, so they're not concerned when the teeth are going to be a little bit sore that night and the next day. Okay, to remove a separator, it's uh, you'll get your explorer in here, and you just kind of wheedle it under there till you get it under the edge, and then you just pull straight up. And I usually put my thumb here 
so that it uh, doesn't go flying across the room or get lost in their mouth. And then you should see a gap right there where that separator is at, and then you can fit your band on there nice and easy.